Interestingly enough, viewers, I recently got access to the best AI video generator out to date. We just talked about it in a video where I discussed two brand new AI video generators, and in that video I did not have access. But since getting access, I can unequivocally state that it is the best that is out currently. Better than Runway ML Gen 2, better than any open source model, it is phenomenal and it's offered in a very small secret Discord server and you need to get access from the waitlist which I will link down below. I imagine the only reason this thing is not public yet is because they just don't have the ability to handle thousands upon thousands of people pinging this AI bot at once because that's what would happen if they did release it. It is that good. Today, we're gonna go over some basic Pika examples of generated videos and explore their brand new feature, which allows you to take any image and convert it into a video. It is freaking wild. So viewers, this is what the Pika Labs server looks like. We have two total generation rooms. Interacting with the bot is very, very simple. Literally do a slash and then we see the create prompt here and we type our prompt in or upload an image and a prompt and we get results. Each video is only a few seconds long. Keep that in mind. There's no long form stuff and I really hope that they are planning on adding a longer generation time. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one very subtle movements. The coherency here is really quite good. We have a subtle look from the eyes. You'll notice that is a feature of Pika Labs is it's able to keep background images very, very still. That's something we actually want from AI generated video. We don't want it to be all crazy and fuzzy. We only want movement when we really need it. And yeah, I mean, this person looks very coherent. It looks almost real. It's impressive. The only real movement we see in this though is the beginning where she's looking down and the end where she's looking up. Nothing too crazy. This one is pretty awesome. Someone riding a bike in the middle of a rainstorm. As you can see, the waves are crashing and they look like they are crashing pretty realistically as well. And the person appears like they might be trying to pedal the bike, although that part is not necessarily as coherent. Still mighty impressive though, to say the least, especially with all these waves. This is an example of what can be accomplished with image to video. This obviously was an original uploaded image of some text saying monkey talk. By the way, viewers, that's something you're going to notice with this model. It's ability to keep text even when turning a picture into a video. And as you can see, it's just some monkeys actually literally talking. It's kind of cool. They're literally just having a little chat while it says monkey talk. It's like an animated logo. I mean, think about all the animated logos we're going to be able to create with this thing when it just gets a little bit better. Even now, this works fairly well. Here is a really good example of the model's ability to keep certain background images still while we have exactly what we want animated in frame. As you see, his cape is going to be blowing in the wind. He's going to be slightly moving, but his background is going to be perfectly still. This is a really cool looking shot. See here, he's just sort of raising his sword a little bit, and he's got some wind blowing his cape in the background. And you can see there's actually some wind particles as well blowing over the moon. Really quite phenomenal stuff. I mean, this is so darn cool. Imagine being able to take like picture books and just fully animate them one day. Awesome stuff. I love the idea of making these text to video generations. So here we've got some woman in flowers. She maybe is like a, a hippie girl or something. Anyways, this is a pretty subtle generation. You can see there is wind blowing in this as well. And overall, it's just very, very coherent with the person looking pretty normal with two eyes, a nose and a mouth and just some subtle movements overall in the entire frame. It's pretty great. This is a really cool generation. It's an old record player playing in some dusty haunted house, and it actually has a zoom out of what's going on in the background. Pretty awesome stuff. You can see the record player playing there, and then it zooms out to show a guy maybe who started the, the record. And he's living in this creepy cobweb infested house for some reason. We don't really know that part, but either way, it's pretty awesome. This alien holding a firearm is ridiculously good for no reason. I mean, the anatomy of the alien and the way he looks is just so awesome. But yeah, this is super coherent. We can see all of his body parts moving. He looks very creepy, but he also just moves in a very realistic way. Like think of the 3D animations and the special effects we're going to be able to do with no prior experience. Think about trying to create this and animate it yourself, like learning to do that whole work instead of just typing a prompt in. The future is going to be absolutely wild. We've got some steampunk vibes going on over here. This old man is playing on a steampunk piano, and this is 
pretty good as well. He kind of moves his hands. You can see the hands are morphing in and out of each other, but we don't expect this extreme high coherency yet like we expect from Midjourney, for example, because this is the early baby stages of AI-generated video. But like I said, Pika Labs is at the top of this rank. This is the best AI video generation we have so far, and honestly, it's catching up pretty quick. A year ago today, this would be a good text-to-image generation. I want to put that pace into perspective. This would be good for text-to-just-image a year ago, and now this is good for text-to-video. So in a year, we went from text-to-image to text-to-video text to at the same exact coherency. Something a little bit more abstract, this woman is floating through like this cracked glass shard room and there's like a backlight it's kind of just some abstract art types of stuff but it's pretty cool looking nonetheless i mean this would be a very difficult shot to recreate in real life for example i mean how would you even go about doing that but with these text to video generators it is not so bad and it might not be the most coherent thing in the world but look at this human anatomy overall it's pretty close we got two legs not three or four legs two arms one head it's it's coming along pretty good i must say impressive stuff in the Pika Labs Discord server, they do have the ability to upload longer things such as YouTube videos, and there's a lot of those floating around. But this is Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg having a dance off. This is made by the AI art show here. So the video starts off with Elon Musk and Zuck. There's like three Zucks. He's cheering on the crowd or something. You can see the smoke moving a little bit in the background. There he goes, kind of creepy, malformed Zuck. But there he goes. He starts to do some dancing. The dancing honestly looks. Pretty decent, all things considered. This is difficult for AI video generators to do. Jumping around, Elon loves it. He's laughing and clapping. Now Elon's going off for his portion of the dance-off, and he's doing something too. It looks pretty good, all things considered. It's very coherent-looking video based off of what we've seen so far in the past. This is very, very good stuff. But yeah, he's breaking a jig. The anatomy is impressive, though, where we have the... The no multiple legs, no multiple arms, the animation might be a little screwed up, but overall it's pretty impressive how coherent it's able to keep the anatomy of the body. The faces, it's it's a lot more difficult because we're very good at, <laughs> why is the rock here? Oh, and Danny DeVito's watching as well. Oh, and Will Smith. I mean, I can tell who all the people are at least. We're very good at picking out faces, so... It's easy for us to tell that, yeah, it's Will Smith, but he looks like he's been through a lot. We've got some really cool generated war scenes that are possible with Pika Labs as well. Anything that's, you know, very complicated and flying around and is supposed to look messy is going to look a little bit better with these video generators because they're not at that higher level of coherency yet. Very, very cool imagery, even beautiful imagery is now possible with text-to-video generators. So now, viewers, I'm going to show off some of the image-to-video generations that are possible. First, we do the channel logo. Obviously, the photo is going to be over here on the left-hand side, and this is what Pika Labs generated. This one right here was six total videos, so it's just kind of going through and looping through six total generations here that you can see. And honestly, for the logo, I just kind of asked for an animated Lemon character logo, and it didn't really do anything too fascinating. That one right there was pretty good. That's the one good generation that we got out of this. Some of them were just basically still with not much going on. Some of them were creepy with hands going in to grab the lemon and stuff like that. It doesn't exactly know what to do perfectly every time, but it tries its best. Like I said, yeah, this is definitely my favorite generation of the bunch where you can see he's actually kind of animated and like moving around and moving his mouth and stuff like that. That's sort of what I was looking for. I was looking for this to become like a Pixar animation. You'll notice it kept a ton of the detail and like all the main details from the original generation are still there and that's something Pika Labs always manages to nail. That is extremely impressive. We get to the worst side of things, and this is where it gets creepy. The weird lemon slots down from his helmet, and then people go and try to grab him, and it just cuts off abruptly. Kind of freaky, like a horror movie or something. The logo has gone wrong. But you'll see it's able to kind of identify. It knows where the background is of the original image, which is pretty crazy. So it actually kind of is able to see these images in a weird way. It's not like a text model, so it can't tell us about the images, but it, it understands fundamentally what it means to be 3D because it's a 
a video model, not just a text model. So viewers on the left hand side here, we have a generation from Google's Imogen, which is a phenomenal text to image generator. This is like a little corgi just enjoying himself inside of a house made of sushi, obviously something fantastical. And honestly, the recreation by Pika Labs in the four videos is pretty decent, all things considered. The corgi gets a little creepy, but that one right there was pretty decent, except for the hands again that just come out of nowhere and try to grab it. The dog is really the main part that we want moving, and it gets that every single time. With the sushi house actually reacting to different lighting it changes and stuff in a very realistic way, and it kept like a lot of the detail of the original image, which truthfully is just the most impressive part. It truly is converting the original image into a video. It keeps all of that original data, like the dog is in the same position, the sushi pieces, you can see the intricate differences. They're all pretty much in the same exact position with the similar colors. It's pretty awesome stuff. I think the reason that the hands keep going over there is because it's trying to show people eating the sushi or something like that, maybe with some chopsticks over there. All right, viewers on the left hand side here, we have a, another Google image image except for this is image in video so this originally is a screenshot from a video that Google's AI video generator made but no one has access to this video generator so we kind of don't really talk about it anyways we try to turn this image back into a video with Pika Labs and it did a pretty decent job we're switching between two separate generated clips of that original image and the faucet it got perfectly every single time and the bear just kind of stands there off in space i was hoping he would start to you know wipe this dish up and start washing it but uh he doesn't really do that he kind of just bobs his head in this one and then in this one we have a whole extra bear walk over on the side but notice how the lighting changes in that one as he walks over it it looks very realistic with the shadows being cast the lighting is uh, something that Pika Labs definitely is able to get correct and is definitely going to be extremely important when these AI video generators come along over time. Most impressive part of this one definitely is just the lighting and the water faucet over here and obviously its ability to recreate the original image. Maybe even with more detail than Google's original one at, at certain points. I don't know, viewers, let me know. All right, now we give Pika Labs a more difficult test. We're switching between three generations created by Pika Labs of my dog. This is a photo that I took. And uh, yeah, honestly, this is a home run overall. You can see the grass is perfect in every single one of these generations. It is phenomenal. And it captures the exact way that the dog is standing pretty much perfectly every time. And the hair also on the dog looks pretty great the only messed up parts is the dog's face a little bit like this one he's munching it's not too bad this one's a little bit more screwed up with his face and then this one is pretty creepy as well honestly this is quite impressive it's crazy how far ai video generators have come in such little time the grass is pretty crazy the fur is crazy the wind is crazy and the way that the whole thing comes together is mighty impressive given the circumstances. Still very high resolution videos too that come out of Pika Labs, by the way. That is one of the impressive things about it. I feel like this one could be a fan favorite. This is an original generation by Midjourney of this cute little robot standing in the rain. It's very colorful and also notice with the robot, it is heavily detailed and it looks like a scrapbook kind of a deal going on with the robot. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a pretty complex generation by Midjourney and Pika Labs takes these two alternating videos and does pretty interesting things with them. The rain, obviously it gets right every single time. The reflections look pretty good on the ground as well. And overall, I think it did a pretty decent job at capturing the robot, especially in the first few frames of both generations when things start to move around though it gets a little bit crazy it doesn't exactly know what to do with the robot maybe it just hasn't been trained on enough data about how robots are quote unquote supposed to act the recreation of all of the different aspects of the robot's face in the first few frames of both videos is mighty impressive and also the way that the rain falls off of the umbrella that is pretty impressive too but notice it got all of the patterns of the colors completely correct. Like, that is crazy. I have never seen an image to video generator application this good. Not even close. This is another mid-journey generation of a spaceman overlooking space on the moon. He's just kind of relaxing. Again, it gets pretty much every single aspect we want. It changes a few details around for sure, but all the major rock placements are there. The colors change vastly 
for some reason between all three generations on this side. But one thing is for sure, they're all just kind of sitting down, relaxing, and watching the stars go by. This is a pretty great example of its ability to regenerate the original image accurately. This is another mid-journey generation of maple syrup being poured all over some pancakes, and I just asked for that, essentially, for the syrup to be pouring out. It starts off with the original image always having maple syrup already on there, but we kind of expect that. It's image to video, after all. And, uh, yeah, it starts off okay with some of these, and then it just turns into, like, globs of stuff being thrown all over the pancakes. The lighting on the pancakes looks very accurate, though. That is something very impressive about all of these generations. But other than that, the maple syrup part just did not really work out as I was anticipating. Crazy stuff. It knows the edges of the pancake. Like, how does it know that? Now, here is another mid-journey generation turned into a video. This one might be the best of the bunch. I just simply said a 19th century train just pulled into the station. There's a lot of smoke and it captured everything pretty brilliantly. Look at how accurate and detailed the smoke is, viewers. That is the most impressive part of these generations and the people just sort of standing there walking around. These are phenomenal. This is definitely next level stuff. Better than I ever hoped to accomplish, honestly, in 2023 with text to video. This side of the uh, AI world is definitely getting some steam lately. Lots of video generation stuff has been popping off lately. Pretty amazing. So this is an example of one of these just not working out at all. Sometimes it will just keep things as an image. I would much rather the AI model err on the side of caution by keeping the images more still rather than movement based. And again, that could just be me misprompting it, but you can see how well it recreates the original, how accurate it truly is. But uh, yeah, I wanted this guy to be dancing around and it just kind of didn't get there, which is unfortunate. This is one of my favorite Dolly 2 generations ever, by the way, viewers. I absolutely love this and I can't for the life of me get Mid Journey to make anything close to this. So here is a recreation of a real photo of me. I'm just sort of standing there waving inside of a gift shop. And yeah, I said, please make me wave. And it turned me into a horrifying old man. It kept the rest of the background pretty good. You can see it does the text very, very well, as well as the logo. But yeah, this hand is horrifying old and wrinkly and has what, eight fingers on it? Yeah, that is just terrifying stuff. I, I, I don't like to see this. So yeah, this was pretty much a flop, except for the text and logo portion. Viewers, you're also going to notice with this that it does keep the aspect ratio of whatever image you upload, which is pretty phenomenal, whether it's 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 or just a square. It, it captures it perfectly. This was a real life rendition of Mario. And then I asked it to have him, you know, eating something and it just kind of turned into like this gross flop of I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, this one didn't work out too great. This one turned out amazing on the left hand side here. We have a mid journey generation. I just asked essentially for some crashing waves and man, this thing went off. It did all kinds of really creative stuff with the waves. Five of these generations are pretty awesome to watch. They're all interesting. This thing definitely has a knack for creating realistic fluids splashing. So uh, that's something that uh, we know it's definitely pretty great at. And yeah, everyone in the server also seemed to like these gens as well. Pretty awesome stuff. I, I will say that is it for my generations. I want to thank you viewers at home for watching. I do have a Discord server, by the way, for this channel where we discuss the latest and greatest in AI and share our AI knowledge. It's a pretty great place, so I'll link it down in the description below. Check out some of my other videos and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.